And here's the opening kickoff. And this was way out of the back of the end zone. I want to remind you that the 2019 Madden Bowl is brought to you by Bose, the official sound of the Madden NFL 19 Championship Series. I'm starting to get a little sentimental, RG. It's been a good road, been a good year, but we still got two more games. No, absolutely. It's been a long, long road. And for a guy like Little Man, it's been years in the making. And for Drini Joker, remember, he lost in the championship game of this same exact tournament last year. He has, he's had all year to think about that. And now here he is one game away from being back in that same spot with a chance to hoist his second belt. So little man will start with it hey, first. Get ready for the passing game, folks. Alpha, Alpha. Vic in the gun. Alpha, Alpha. He's got Mixon off to his side. There's Randy Moss solo to the right. Eagle, Eagle. And he'll flip the script. Alpha, Alpha. Vic. Throwing high points into Moss. And that'll pick up seven. And if you're Drini, how happy are you that you're starting out on defense this, this game? Yesterday, you beat him 35-7. to 70, He threw two pick sixes. Didn't get the offense going, obviously. And now you get to start off on defense, have a chance to get one, another one of those pick sixes. Yeah, when these guys met earlier, it was, it was not pretty. At, at the same time, I will say, if you're a little man, it might be feel good to, you know, you've watched a lot of tape, you've worked on some things. So right away, you're going to get to find out, was that lab work worth it or not? Vickens, no. and that's a classic Mike Vick overthrow. And thankfully for Little Man, because that would have been a pick if it was thrown on target. I think Drini was there, it would have been a pick. It was 35 to seven the last time these guys faced off. And Little Man had six turnovers. Gotta take care of the onion, and it'll make you cry every single time. Third and three. He'll flip it back. Sharp, Julio, and Randy in the bunch. Swings it outside, Joe Mixon, the former Sooner, will pick up the first down. Drini had that hitch bagged up. Um, noticed the little man went to it on the first down. Now he's manning up that outside receiver in that bunch formation. I think it's going to be tough for a little man to make a living in this bunch formation. It's the veteran. Against the guy that's been very successful in his first couple of years. When you talk about Drini. Uh-oh. And Julio Ooh. breaks a tackle, and that'll move the chains. One thing I want you guys to pay attention to with Drini is he is so good at clicking on, giving up the short route, but then clicking on to the defender and then landing one of those devastating hit sticks or strips. Just pay attention to how fast Drini is able to click on to the defender once that ball's in the air. He's one of the best at it. Well, he's already playing better than he did a, a game last time these guys got together. Get rid of it. And he'll throw it away. He went 11 of 23 last time these two got together. That's 47% for only 153 yards. So he's going to have to dink and dunk here and not turn it over. Five INTs. That's what Drini took away from Little Man. Second and 10. The lefty. Got the hitch. And Get that's Tyreek. That's too easy, Mo. Absolutely. I thought Drini would start manning up that hitch on the outside. It looks like he left it open. I don't think Drini will give that up too many more times this game. Uh, I'm impressed right now, though. Little man moving the ball up the field, picking up first downs. And this is a statement drive for him. If he could come out, punch this in for the end zone, show Drini that the lab work paid off. Going to put pressure on the favorite, Drini Joka. Mike Vick. Great read. Boom, and there's that click one I was telling you about. As soon as that ball's in the air, Drini switches onto the defender and makes you pay for it. Well, that was a laser beam inside the red zone at the 15-yard line. He's already taken up a couple minutes here in his opening drive. Bunch flipped it over to the left. And he'll hand it off to Joe. And he'll mix it up to the 13. 
Mo, quickly, can you just talk to me? What are some of the benefits of constantly flipping that play at the line of scrimmage? We see that a lot from the players. Because you're always able to get your best play out there on offense, but on defense, you're going to snap the ball right after you flip it sometimes. So your defense isn't going to be able to get set up fast enough. And if you're a little man, you've got to try to get seven here. Eagle, eagle. Vic, looking to the end zone, there's a oh, high point, he got it. He turned it over! Oh, he just can't stop throwing oh, picks oh, to oh, Drini. Yeah, Drini plays goes way too much for him to give up that red zone touchdown. That's one of the EMB's favorite plays out of that gun type formation. No chance it was ever going to work on Drini. How about that, guys? Now, little man, zero touchdowns and six interceptions in less than five quarters against Drini who's trying to return to this championship game for the second year in a row. Let's look at that pick. Just over through Sharp. Of course, he'll set up his audibles here, but now go back to your point, Mo, where he said Drini wanted to be on defense first. He gets the stop, and now he's in control. Absolutely, man. This is, this is exactly how the game started versus Kurtobin for Drini. He got to stop his opening drive, went down and got three. I would like to see Drini be a little bit more aggressive than he has been in the past. I really want him to just turn it on. I feel like he keeps some people in some games when he could blow them out. Well, hand it off to Mixon. And he'll get bottled up. Maybe got three. And I believe Drini uses that 97 overall Joe Mixon, if I'm not mistaken. And ironically enough, that's the same Joe Mixon that walked off touchdown against him in the championship game for Kratobin. So Drini taking a page out of Kratobin's playbook, going with that very effective high overall Joe Mixon idol. Got him. He's got it him. It is a bomb to Ross. And even with that speed, he can't catch up to it. Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about right there. You're looking at Drini's offense, and look at this Joe Mixon. He's a 98 overall after he gets powered up by some of these chemistries. I mean, that's a lot of firepower. That's a strong run game by Drini. Third down. Leopard, Leopard. That cross man's all over the field. He'll flip it. Get snuggy here on third down. And got to get rid of it. Where Looking for the marker. Man? He'll pick up the first down and more. Looked like Little Man had a chance to maybe make a tackle before, the, before he got the line to gain. Drini, that's the difference. Drini's never missing that tackle. He's always going to get him to fourth and short there. Little man, stick work not quite as good as Drini's. Isn't able to make the tackle, move the chains. First and ten. Lamar will hand it off to Mixon. You know, Mo, last time you and I were in San Francisco, you won the belt. Yeah, seems like it's been forever now. <laughs> Back in my day. Yeah, no doubt. Hey, these guys are are so good at the game. They put in so much time. They deserve to be here. Second and eight now. He's got it. The tackle there by Reed. I don't really Mark Jackson two or three. I don't really understand what Little Man's doing. He keeps bringing his defender way down where he's in no man's land. He can't make any play on anything. He's making it way too dreamy, way too easy for Dreamy after the ball snap. Part of that might be just how nervous he is about that Joe Mixon trying to get some goons in the box. I mean, Drini known for having one of the most prolific run games on the circuit. And I think what makes it difficult is Drini has such a strong run game, but he's so efficient with the pass as well when we saw his breakdown earlier. Cowboys on Cowboys. Worth mentioning, Drini in the dark uniforms with the ball right now. And Nixon takes a big hit, and that will should be the end of the first quarter. So still 0-0 zero to zero here at the end of one. Just a few quarters away from finding out who is going to face Spoto in the final. Through Monday, select Madden Ultimate Team points are being discounted up to 33%. Go on to Ultimate Team today. And just a reminder, the sell ends on April 29th.
The 2019 Madden Bowl is brought to you by Progressive. Be a savings champion and start your quote today. Well, 0-0. Zero, zero. Little man got the ball first, went all the way down the red zone. RG turned it over, and now Drini's on a drive. Yeah, Trini's moving, and I do want to oh, call out. Like it's got to be so like cool for Trini. He's representing those Dallas Cowboys. A big part of that is he's sponsored by Complexity oh, yeah. Gaming, who is affiliated with those Dallas Cowboys. They really go, take go, care go, of him, and go, go. huge shout-out to Complexity Gaming. They got one of the best players on the circuit on their eSports roster. They picked up a good one in Trini. Well, I want to say a special hello to Jason Lake. He heads up Complexity. He was at the first eSport event I ever did in 2001. It was Counter-Strike 1.3. That tells you how long complexity has been around. Vintage. Lamar here on first and 10. Back to Mixon. And you saw the stats ahead of time, Mo. Balanced offense from Trini. Absolutely, and you're going to notice he's going to run the ball even more down here. He's up a stop. He's not going to turn the ball over. He's going to make sure he puts points on that board, especially after he's up a stop already. He's going to get the ball back at half. He just wants to keep himself in a manageable position where he, he has a chance to win the game and his opponent's not driving the bus. Detroit, Second and four. Detroit, Getting Detroit. close to that red zone where he was perfect the last time they met in that 35-7 win by Drini. He was three for three in the red zone. And there's a timeout. Pretty sweet to have your own coach in the game. Oh, <laughs> Mo knows something about that. Uh, definitely. This is the best, best moment of my life, I promise. Better than winning a Madden challenge. Once I've seen that, it, you know, it, it's, some, it's some satisfaction for your parents, for everybody at home. You feel like a superstar. Everybody, everybody plays Madden. They, they can all go in on and see that in the Madden Ultimate Team. It's amazing. Awesome stuff. Lamar getting to the outside. Yeah, we've, all, we've all three been in the game. RG, you're a trainer or a scout? I'm a trainer. You're a trainer. I was part of an MJD pack. Oh, yeah. In, in Madden 16, you had to collect me to unlock a, a 92 MJD. And that's still my claim to fame. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's Roberts at the 18. He's in the red zone. Real quick, I, I like that Drini runs a little bit different. He's in the Saints playbook. He's running that gun-wide trio. He'll go to the offset, and he's giving his opponents a little bit of a different look than that normal Watch gun bunch, uh, gun trips tight end that they're used to seeing. I really like that about Drini's game plan. It's something unique to his style. He's in some tight slots right here, single back. Yeah, up under center, I love it. Hands it off to Mixon, first down. A little strip animation, but it'll be a muff to move the sticks. You guys are gonna see Drini run the ball a lot down in the red zone. He does not want to turn this ball over. The only pass play he'll go to out is that wheel route, but he's gonna end up subbing Moss in, so you don't have to wheel, worry about that wheel route until Moss is subbed in in that slot receiver. Runs it again, nice lead block. Saying. And it's gonna be first and goal. It's a good scouting report by, by <laughs> Mo, I mean. He's played a few games. I'm a player. I might want Mo on the payroll. <laughs> I, I, I need the full breakdown. Up under center again. Every time, every tight end on the roster in there. And he'll lose a yard. He's even got some middle linebacker, <laughs> Ladanian Tomlinson at tight end. How about that? So actually, that's actually a glitchy little package. There's an out of position item that allows Ladanian to be at middle linebacker. You usually can't get him on offense, but with that goal line package, it's possible. That's I'd, scummery at its finest. I'd love to see a run come in here out a little known. To the outside. No Gets a block. Oh, Touchdown, Drini. Oh, he oh, strikes man. first. I'm with Mo right there. You want to see the run commit. It's so obvious that Drini just wants to throw that rock. Maybe the toss is what scared him away from it because you run commit middle. They all crash deep into the middle of the field. Leave, leave yourself vulnerable on the outside, but little man, no defense for it. Nonetheless, run commit or not. And he will bring it out. Prime time. Spins. And dropped at the 20. Mo, how big of a drive is this for Little Man? It's been five quarters wait, wait. against this guy, Drini. You haven't been able to throw for a touchdown yet. It's a huge drive coming up. He drove down pretty easily versus Drini in that first drive. 
throws a pick on an early down in the red zone. A, a mistake we're seeing a lot of these competitors make is they get down in this red zone. They're great in between the 20s, but they're, they're, their offense just slows way down inside the red zone. They're not able to put up points, and they're forcing themselves to make turnovers. Vic gets it to Shannon Sharp, and the legend will pick up the first down. Rare missed tackle by Drini right there. Yeah, that's usually his strong suit is. And I love the way he plays it is you ask a real NFL coach, how do you defend the drag route? They'll tell you, you let them throw the drag route, you just make them pay for it after they throw it. And that seems to be Drini's philosophy on defense, and he's one of the best at doing that. I noticed the Patriots did not draft my guy Hunter Rimfro. He ended up going to the Raiders. Could have been a Hall of Famer. Could have been a Hall of Famer, RG. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing the receiver we got is a pretty good pickup. I'm happy with it. Vic. Steps, throws, Julio there it is. can't hang on. Clap, Absolutely. clap. Absolutely, I would have loved to seen a rack out a little bit. It looked like he had some space on the sideline. He goes with the aggressive catch, comes back for it. Drini's guy in perfect position to lay a hit stick. 155 before the half, little man with all three timeouts. Just the second time he's touched the football. He had a long opening drive before throwing the pick. And then Drini took the air out of the football on his first possession. Vic shakes off one, can't get away from the other. And that's a sack. Let's take a look at that Snickers replay. You're off your game when you're hungry. Eat a Snickers. Looked like he had Julio on the sideline there again. Didn't trust in it, got screamed at, takes the sack. Well, Drini was on that aggressive pass rush, and what that is, he's telling his defense, he's putting him in a jet technique, where he's saying, don't worry about the run, and just get after the quarterback. Little man needs to fake snap. Oh, baby. Try to draw those guys offside, because they're just putting their foot in the ground, and when that ball says hike, they're on the QB's butt, and another stop for Drini Joka. And here comes the unicorn of Madden. The dreaded punt. Phenomenal punt, though. All the way down to the 19, and this might be the drive of the game. And I will say, if you're little man, you need to do something to get some momentum, get yourself back in the game. All tournament long, he's been playing with a lot of passion, a lot of fire in his heart. But right now, he just see, he's up there. I'm not seeing a lot of good body language. If you're little man, you need to do something to get yourself back in the game. Not just on the sticks, but mentally as well. These opportunities don't come often, Scott. You gotta take advantage of them. This is the second time Little Man's been in the Final Four this year. Remember, he got to the final in the Classic before coming up short to Skimbo. And it feels like Drini's been in every Final Four. Four in total for the youngster. When he's bandaging it up, RG, we've talked about it several times. He wins more times than not. No, 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 no. Yeah, Bandana Bandana Drini, Bandana. definitely a force to be reckoned with. As you see him with the feet, fatigue bandana right there, getting sticks in with Mixon. That 98 OVR makes him pretty tough to catch. And it's tough, Mo. You don't see a lot of these guys spend on that halfback. So if you're going to spend that much cap on a high OVR halfback, you're almost forcing yourself to establish that run. There's that wheel you were talking about, Mo. Lamar buying time. And the former Louisville Cardinal just throws it away. If you're a little man, that was great user by him. But Drini had a few guys coming open, and, and versus in that defense, you don't get a whole lot of pressure unless you blitz a lot of bodies. He didn't send a lot of bodies. You're not going to get a lot of block shot in this nickel normal. Spoto's waiting in the final. To see if it's going to be Drini or little man. It's all coming your way at 7 p.m. Eastern time here tonight. Uh-oh, he's fumbling. Yeah. It's yeah. a fumble in the recovery. Mo, a.k.a. the three-eyed Raven, calls the fumble before the ball pops out. And if you're little man, that's the play you need to get yourself back in the ball game. Look at him. He looks like he's got a little oh. more pep in his hey, step. Stop. There he is. He's talking. This that was an huge. opportunity. Yeah, this is the this is everything you waited for. 
49 seconds to operate. All three timeouts. Even three would give you some sort of momentum. He's got him. Sets his nope. feet pick. and throws a pickens. God, what am I doing? I don't know. What are you doing? You just can't make that mistake right there. You get a fumble. It looks like, looks like you're going to go down two possessions without ball at half. Drini sets you up in field goal range, and you throw a pick on the first play. You just can't let that happen. Drini in the dark jerseys, little man in the light. Cowboys on Cowboys. With that interception, little man now with seven interceptions, zero touchdowns in his passing attack in under six quarters against Drini in this corner. What am I doing, man? What am I doing? Still talking to himself. And you know what? A lot of people don't like it. In most cases, I don't like it. But with Little Man, he blatantly plays better when he's in the game. He's emotional. He's passionate. And then, you know, he's got to leave it all out there. High pass to Moss. And Trini will use his final timeout with 32 ticks to go. Don't forget, we got all four episodes of the Road to the Madden Bowl at the conclusion of this one, all leading up to the championship tonight. I'd love to see Little Man dial up some pressure here. Over, 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 over. Got to protect these sidelines. The pressure. He's coming. And he'll throw it away. Five of eight <laughs> for Jackson. And you're, you're right, RG. The crazier he gets, the better he plays. That's just how he's been. I, a lot of people don't get themselves out of their game when they start talking. But little man's from the old school, like I said. He came up in an era where capping was the norm. He just seems to play better when he does it. Look, at that, look for that wheel route here versus cover two. That, that corner's going to get sucked in because of that post. He stays out there. Sharp. And the clock's on the move at the 34. I'd be surprised if we even seen Drenny run another play that's not field goal here. Hey, he's going to bring the kicking unit out. It's going to be a 51-yarder to make it a two-possession game here before the half. And don't forget, gentlemen, he gets the ball. He's got some wind against him, Scott. He might not make this. We could see a miss here. I don't know if he can get it there. This is a huge kick. Two-possession ball game makes all the difference in the world. Let's hold our breath here. It is up, and it is good by a hair. Another yard out. I think I don't think it gets there. Well, on, man. little man in a hole here. Drini up ten to nothing here in semi final number two. And don't forget, we got a ton of special Madden streams coming your way. Stay tuned to the channel each and every Thursday, starting May 2nd, to take a deep dive into all the new features in Madden 20. Go behind the scenes with special developer interviews, exclusive content reveals to get you prepared for the August 2nd worldwide launch of Madden NFL 20. And I'd be remiss if I didn't say I saw my Clemson Tigers in there. I didn't Little see my QB1 State action. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I, think, I think Clemson might have something to do with that. I'm sorry about that. If you're a little man, you played, a, you played an okay half defensively, and you know Drini's a conservative player. You know that he'll kick his field goal. You have to hold him here. You can't get too risky on defense. You have to keep your composure. You have to realize what type of player Drini is. You have to hold the door if he gets into the red zone. Yeah, field goal is fine if you're a little man. Two possessions regardless. A touchdown would be detrimental. I still get a kick out of seeing those coaches on the side. I know, it's amazing. And, you know, this little man's coach, you got Drini's coach. Like, almost every player in the tournament's got their coach out there on the sideline. Just swagging around. No big deal. Second and eight. He is going to take a ton of time off on this drive. I mean, 17 to nothing is almost GG. Moss, Ooh, plenty oh. of room, gets away from Juan, still Ooh. on his feet. He goes like, out of bounds of the 43. Looked like he would have just ran right through that defender if he just runs at him instead of running backwards. It might have been a touchdown. Maybe having that strip animation in the back of his head as he put it on the ground last time he had it. Couple turnovers, some punts. 
had a little bit of everything except a little man score. Lamar. And there's Mixon. He won't get much. Keep it locked to at Madden League Ops on Twitter for live tournament coverage, content, news updates, and more. Make sure you follow us out on Twitter at Madden League Ops. Big second down here at the 45 yard line. Drini just a quarter and a half away from making it to another final. And remember, he lost in the final against Young Kim a year ago. Well, he's looking for redemption. Absolutely. If you're a little man, you're down 10 points, which is tough enough in Madden, but now you're down 10 points versus Drini. I think you'll see little man sell out on the run on all of these first downs because that's just not the type of player that Drini is. He's almost always going to run on first down. Huge, huge passing down coming up right here. Lamar picks up a block. Steps and throws Short. and sharp. It's going to bring up a fourth down. You know Trini's going to go for it. When you make a read like that, throw it short of the first down marker right by the sideline, that just means you're ready to go for it on fourth down. And if you're little, man, this is how you get your momentum back. You need to make a play right here, boys. Fourth and two. Trini in the gun one more time. This is a huge play for the little guy. Gotta watch for Lamar to use his legs coverage. here too. Oh! And it's gonna be Come a turnover on, on Downs. Score. Little man's gonna have it. Score, man! Stop playing dumb! I mean, even Come if he on, had three man. on his opening drive, I mean, this would be a one possession game. I just like, at least little man's not biased with his trash talk. He'll trash Where's talk his ball? opponent, he'll trash <laughs> talk himself. Nobody's safe. A little self deprecation never hurt anybody. Flips the bunch here on first and 10. Keeps getting a lifeline here from Drini. Vic. Got him. Steps, throws, and Julio, of course, will hang on at the 30. I'll tell you what, I think Lil Man's playing great defense this game. If he's able to put any points on the board here and make Drini have to think, doesn't make it, uh, it doesn't turn the ball over, I think we're going to see a very tight game going in this fourth quarter. First and 10 now. He's been down here before. And he'll flip it back one more time. I'll tell you what, Scott, we talk a lot about Little Man's demeanor. How about Greeny's demeanor up there? He's just unfazed by anything. He's just game faced the whole entire time as his defense steps up right there for a sack lunch. There's D4 getting to the quarterback. That'll push him back four, second and 14. Once again, Vic in the gun. And he'll get it to Randy Moss, can't spin away. That's gonna bring up a third and manageable. Can't take a sack here if you're a little man. Gotta get points on the board this possession. Vic here from the 28 yard line for little man. Trying to get something on the board, get any type of momentum. He'll motion out Moss. Vic steps up in the pocket. And he'll throw it away. That was a great defense right there by Trini. He showed Little Man a cover two look, two high safeties. Then they rotate. It was really a cover three. Forces Little Man to settle for three. The kick is perfect. And Trini in those dark uniforms is going to get the ball back. But now it's just a one possession game. And you mentioned, Mo. Now he's got a little pressure on him. Yeah, Dream's going to have to open up the playbook this possession. He knows that he can't go for it on fourth down and get stopped. This is a crucial possession for Dream to put up points. It just seems like every down, too, Dream, he's going to come out in this formation. He's going to audible. He's going to flip the play. But it always seems to be a check down to a run in this situation. There he goes. He goes into wide trips, audibles to the bunch. Then he usually just hands this ball off on first down. He comes out in a dummy formation is what they call it pretty much every time. Got some space. There it is. Oh, what a one cut! He's, He's gone. off to the races. They won't catch him. 99 speed. You are not catching him. Trini 
once again to the Cribbo. One of the nastiest one cuts I've seen all year. Looks like he's gonna just pick up 12 yards. One cut outside, doesn't get touched. 75 yard touchdown. And through six quarters of play in this tournament against Little Man, Drini is now outscored him 52 to 10. Oh my goodness. I mean, that is devastating for Little Man. You finally get yourself a little bit of momentum, get some points, make a one possession ball game. And then look at this, Drini with Joe Mixon, 99 speed. Whoop. That's just not on your horse. That's your on sea biscuit at that point. <laughs> That's a crib shot. And the look sets it off from Little Man. Had plenty of chances in this ball game. And now finds himself down two scores. Little Man finds Moss. And that's close to the marker. And it's gonna be second and short. Double, double, double. 17 to three. Little man in those home white uniforms of the Dallas Cowboys. And he'll miss. motion out Moss. He'll throw underneath right where that route left. And they're sharp for a first down. I'm watching Drini, and one thing he's doing so well is he's masking his defense. He keeps on showing Little Man a cover two look where he'll have those two safeties back there deep. You have one, two, and you think it's a cover two, but he's doing a great job of mixing it up between two and three and audible in and setting it up the same exact way. They call that the skies in your coverage shell. Real high level football and Madden right there from Drini Joka. They'll move it ahead five yards after the flag. And 20 seconds to go in the third. Urgency at its utmost here for Little Man. Vic, no sir. And I think that was the first time Little Man had fake snapped all game. So for three quarters, Drini's just been having his defensive line with their ears pinned back, ready to get to the passer. It's a really good point, Mo. Just sitting on that aggressive pass rush and the way you counteract that if you're on offense is you fake snap. Because when you're on that aggressive pass rush, you're more likely to jump off sides and be more susceptible to the run, but Little Man, who likes to pass every down, not to, and Trini needs to worry about. Well, he's just throwing it in the coverage there. I know Julio's down there, but that's dangerous. I think Little Man will take it at this point. Anything he can get on offense, Scott, I mean, he is desperate for a touchdown at this point. Well, at the end of three, Trini is a quarter away from moving on and facing Spoto in the final tonight. Little man's got some work to do. The 2019 Madden Bowl is brought to you by New Era, the official cap of NFL sidelines. Well, gentlemen, we got five minutes to decide who is gonna be moving on here tonight. Little man needs seven right here. First and 10. Ball marked at the 23 yard line. You little man, you got five minutes left for the rest of your Madden season. Look for Julio on that corner route. The only thing that's been keeping Little Man alive is Julio. Vic, he's got him. Got him. Away and he oh. can't get rid of it. D Ford is eating. And I could be wrong here, Scott, but I think I think Drini might have double double juked him out a little bit. I think <laughs> af even after Little Man fake snapped, I think Drini just stuck with the aggressive pass rush, assuming Little Man's not going to come back, and I don't think he has. Watch these safeties on this play. Shows a cover two look, and then they go into the three shell. He needs a dot. Oh. And the low throw can't be corralled by Randy Moss. Great lurk by Drini on that play. He almost had no chance of any of those routes working. I'm telling you guys, Drini is doing a great job of mixing up the base coverages that he is calling. And I really feel like it's preventing Little Man from finding any comfort on offense. He got guys open, but he just doesn't know where to look because this defense is just mixed up so well and by Drini. Certainly four down territory here. He needs to get a little bit of this back. Oh, and he'll actually. Oh, man. The freak gets in there with a sack. You might think about kicking here. You didn't even try to get any closer on those last two downs. Every route was 30 yards down the field. And then now you're going to go for it on fourth and 19. It's just a bad decision. Yeah, a little bit on tilt here. 
this series of downs. Quick hike from the wheel. And oh. forces it in, oh. and Drini's going to get it back. A turnover on downs. Looked like he might have had the wheel there, RG. That's a great call. Look, looked like Drini was going to bait the wheel, but he just stayed on that tight end. Honestly, I think Drini might have got caught in a, a, a pretty bad defense for the play little man called. He just didn't make the right read. Yeah, no, Dr little man hiked it. Drini was in the middle of making adjustments. The wheel was open for a split second. Worst case scenario, one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Said little man just throws it into coverage and Drini in complete control. Pretty much cruising here to his second Madden Ball Finals in a row. Complexity gaming zone, Drini Joka. Well, he's dominated little man. Pretty much this whole week. And when you know, certain players, when you're one dimensional, like little man is in the passing game, it'll eventually catch up to you against a great defender like Drini. Absolutely, and that's what I was afraid of for little man. That first drive, he drives down, you turn the ball over. That just absolutely cannot happen, especially on the first drive of the game. Get your lead versus little man. I mean, get your lead versus Drini. You just lost 35 to 7 to him. How good would it feel to have a lead on that guy that beat you 35 to 7? That's the voice of Sirius Mo, Madden 16 champ. RG down on the end. And we are 309 away from seeing Trini move on to his second straight championship final. Last year coming up short, the young kid. Lamar. And yeah, he'll hold on. Clock tick, tick, ticking away. And we talked about it earlier, Scott Spoto. That's 17 years old, still in high school, banked $25,000. <laughs> How about Trini Joka? This is a young man that's only 19 years old. And in the last two years of, the only two years he's been eligible to play competitive Madden, he's already made over $180,000 at just the young age of 19. How about batting 50% making it to the finals? Four of eight. That's ridiculous. That's pretty good. You, you know what's another crazy opportunity, a crazy stat about Trini? I believe the number is in his Madden career, he's only been eligible to qualify for eight major events. He's qualified for seven of those. Wow. Here we go now. And remember. The age was moved from 18 to 16, the year he turned 18. That's if it would have been 16 since 16. Oh, man. Who man. knows where this youngster would be? Madden 17, I promise you, he was one of the best players in the world. No doubt about it. And there's the two-minute warning. And two of, minutes away. And, of course, Madden 17, one of the years he wasn't eligible, only has been able to play Madden 18, Madden 19, and like I said, over $180,000 with the potential to pretty much make it $200,000 by the end of this tournament. That's amazing. There's a spin. A little man running out of time and timeouts. It hurts to get here twice this season in a final. Final four for little man and just can't put it together. This is a guy nobody expected to get out of their group, Scott. If you're a little man, you gotta be feeling good. You still proved a ton of people wrong this weekend. Nobody was giving you a chance. You, were, you weren't even in the group of death that nobody was giving you any sort of chance to win any games, and you make it out of your group. You make it to the Final Four. Showed you're one of the best players this year. Mixing, doing mixing things. So we're going to have Walter Payton versus Joe Mixon. It looks like in the final. He tapped out. And he tapped out. He's going to tap out. And that's it. Oh. Wow. Little Dream. man has seen enough. 